What is going on, travelers? I'm going to go ahead and give you an analysis and a bit of a breakdown of the trailer and for everything that we know coming so far. I have so many questions about this. Let's start off with the beginning. Look at this vast landscape. Everything is so big and so huge and so gorgeous. Look at the, the grass and everything. It's so crisp, so detailed. I wonder what that is in the bottom. If that's water, I wonder if those are boats. I'm wondering what that building is over there. I'm going to quickly transition over in the next slide. Like this is something you would see in a class. <laughs> but look at this character here. We noticed the backpack is different from what we saw in the other scene. Going back, look, look at the adventurer's backpack. This here is kind of ordinary. We do see bows in here. I want to mention the weapons earlier too. This, this looks like a whole faction that has yellow capes, yellow hoods. This one looks a little greenish than some of the other ones. I'm wondering whether or not that's um, a choice by the player or whether or not that's going to be faction related. Going into the next scene, we see a person mounted on this land mount, which doesn't look too bad. This is kind of like Princess Mononoke-esque kind of mount, and I think I want one of those and I will name it after that mount. <laughs> I wonder what this symbol represents. There's a different one within the one of the factions. Rather than a circle, it looks more like an eye. And I don't know if that's snow or not in the distance, but there's no HUD up, just like in the other one, so we'll move on. But man, look at the swaying trees here. I wonder if I can just bring it back just a little bit. And then look at the swaying trees. Look how everything's naturally moving with the wind as the camera pans into the to the adventure. Oh, also the horns. I wonder if this is just a character that may be a elk or deer character rather than it being just like, you know, a headpiece that can be put on. Or maybe it can be, we don't know. And then this part here, I don't know if you can see the horns. The, the one on the right here kind of blends in. There's also this one up here, but you can see it on the one on the right. So I wonder if these are little minions or it's this skeleton right here because this skeleton looks a little different. I can't see the horns here at all if it has them. But I'm wondering if that is an enemy or whether or not that's going to be an NPC that we're going to kind of talk to. But this is a very gaseous area. You can see that it's dead and desolate and just ancient. So I wonder if we're going to visit it, maybe have to wear something in order to protect us from the poisonous gas, or are we just going to have to trail through it and lose health? And then again, we see this orb here. I say again because we already saw the trailer, but if we're looking at it again, what does this represent here? Is what is supposed to be emitting, emitting from it? Is it light? Is it something else? But again, no HUD, but we do see, I'm going to guess that's a bear. I'm pretty sure that's a bear. No tail, <laughs> big arms, small head, little ears. So we noticed that the, uh, the hammer here, it's kind of mystic. It, it's like from a specific crystal that is made as the arm and then the ha the head of the hammer is probably some type of metal i'm not enti i'm not entirely sure but they're not wearing a backpack i did notice that the second time around but yeah they're not wearing the backpack they just have a weapon so we're definitely not gonna start off with the backpack i don't think and then this is an ordinary backpack and then this backpack is kind of different but this person is also carrying a weapon and i think this one either is or isn't the hands look empty all right this one here look at the ship that ship looks pretty big. I wonder if the ships are gonna get that big or are they gonna stay super small? And we noticed that in the water, there is a giant octopus. I wonder if that's a friend or foe. The fish look to be friendly though. And then we see the HUD in all its entirety. There is a torch here. It did take a little bit of damage on the way. And we also see this down here. We know this is temperature because it's pretty low. I don't know if you can see like the little arrow there it kind of indicates that it's going towards the cold spots and we don't want to be in the water for too long and i wonder if this is an attribute a skill or something we're gifted from someone else to swim in the water pretty well like a fish like i don't know i wonder what the and look, look at the differences in swimming this one was pushing forward let's move it back a little bit this one was pushing forward when the other one was kind of swimming regularly like a fish sort of so we're going to have differences in swimming, and I wonder if that was with and without it. But coming out of the water, the water and the, the sea life looks great. I see sea life and it's just water life. I don't think we're in the water. But look, the uh, the HUD changed. Um, life is still the same, weapon's still the same. But look down here. The temperature went up a little bit, which means that when we're out of the water, instead of... Oh, the fish meant biome. The fish does not mean 
to swim like a fish or a skill and attribute. No, it would define the biome. So we got out of that. We went into this leaf here. So we must be in a, a very valley kind of like area. So that's probably going to pop up within those areas. And then we have temperature here. I'm pretty sure this is going to be time of day. That looks like a sun. And this looks like it's maybe in the morning. Around this time, we still have a whole bunch of time left during the day. And then look at the dragons. Oh, this one's tail is different from some of the other ones. Some of them are spiked, and then, but this one is very, uh, very clubby. Like just a little rock at the end. Let's see, let's go ahead and move on to some of the other dragons in the distance. We see that one flying. Oh, and let's go over some of these scenes. I'm going to catch them off a little bit, so bear with me. There's a different kind of backpack again, different type of clothing, different type of area. It's very rainy, doesn't look very friendly or majestic. It looks like a, almost a wasteland. And look at the bunny here. The bunny is very different from what we've seen in the the other previous parts of the trailer this one's kind of like scruffy and like trying to just survive out here and i'm wondering if that survival aspect will be very key in us getting mounts and where do we get the mounts from do we get the mounts generally do we hatch them or do we get them from factions that have been training them for x amount of years on end this one on the other hand i didn't point it out earlier but look at the hair it looks like we're gonna get different types of hair probably different types of clothes and the backpacks on the other hand we're gonna have to pick those up maybe buy them which is another thing for currency what are we gonna do for currency in this game it's just so crazy i'm going off the rails here and <laughs> i should just stay on track but i have so many questions about this look at the glider there's nothing here so far on a hud well the hud's off probably but I don't think it's going to have endurance or anything, so we can probably jump off of the tallest part of a mountain and then glide our way down if we need to, if we didn't have a mount. Like that. There we go. You'll notice some of the language on the flag here. I wonder what that means or who it pertains to and which faction, but look at the hat. Um, I'm wondering if that's a buyable item or whether or not we get that from customization with our characters later on. Do we get to customize it first? Do we get to customize it later? What do we spawn in as? Looking at the backpack here, it's another ordinary backpack for an adventurer, but we do have the staff here. This staff is kind of significant because it signifies that, oh, you can be someone in this specific class. Are there classes? What kind of classes are there? Are they going to pertain to weapons or can we use any weapons or do we not have a class and we can just use anything? I don't know what the square means. I just know we're in a winter biome and this might be something significant later on. Or maybe we're just awarded this and we need to use it at some point. I have no idea. All right, skipping those parts and going straight to this scene. I like this one so much because it starts showing you, oh, there's an axe man in the distance who's chopping a tree. There's another one over here who's just lifting a log. And that one, that one looks like a bear. <laughs> it's like a bear person. So again, difference in backpacks. Some are carrying backpacks, some aren't. I'm wondering about that. This one looks like it has an axe behind them. It's probably going to go help out the build and then there's building off in the distance with houses uh, the one in the background is complete while this one over here another bunny coming out with armor so i'm wondering if we're gonna, if we're gonna get armor as well that up there i can't tell what and oh no that's their backpack they're facing a different direction we see a sign here i wonder if this language pertains to an overall language to speak or whether or not it's going to be faction related and i'm kind of wondering if this house is there's a furnace there I'm wondering if whether or not this is going to be for a blacksmith and we need to see blacksmiths in order for us to refine our weapons. Like, what is that there? Is that a candle? It's just sparking in the distance and there's like a little bench and there's dude with the log still. And let's keep moving. And there's a hummingbird as a mountain. Here comes up another flash. All right. So we're right in the middle. We'll go back to the other one in just a second. Look at the detail of these warriors ones in the distance and then again up here they all have yellow capes just like the ones did at the beginning of the trailer um some have hoods i'm definitely gonna get a hood i don't know about you let me know down in the comments and you see all capes similar um similar wear not too not too different some of them are wearing the same gear some aren't i love this over here the uh the tunic along with the boots and the pants there i can't wait to have it looks like they're hunting and if we go just a little bit more, ah, uh, we, we missed it. And you can see the arrow shoot and it hits and that's so cool. So I'm wondering where the ammo count's gonna go. Here's another piece of that. And I think after this would be the, the sword slash, but look, another wyvern, very, very detailed tail, very 
very big and spiky. So I'm wondering if this is another dragon, and it's going to be another dragon, because there are different variants of dragons and mounts throughout this entire world. So we know there's a plethora of things to choose from. We're not going to just have one type of dragon, one type of land animal, and then boom, that's it. There's nothing. But no, look at the ships. I wonder if these are only going to be for multiplayer, and you're going to have like some kind of raft or something if you're single player. Because we will have differences between a server where we're playing by ourselves and single player and then multiplayer servers kind of like no man's sky but look at the detail in hair we're going to be able to change our hair we're going to be able to change our clothes it looks like this person has armor again the backpack is different they look like they're carrying a long bow where is the ammo for that are we going to have the little like quiver like at our waist is it going to be on our back like where where's all this stuff going to come from yes there we go it's a little blurry i'm sorry but giant crab that's probably going to be a boss and it has its little minions there and it's so cool after the sword slash you kind of see the flame in the blur and like the sword swipe still coming around that looks so cool so we're going to have elemental weapons what are, what are the other elemental weapons going to be we know we have fire is it going to be water as well is it going to be earth is it going to be air like what's what's going on so far this looks like a beach rocky area so we've been, we've seen a lot of distinct biomes so far so there's no no doubt that we're gonna see a lot of variety within this procedurally generated earth all right and looking at the mounts here where there was one of the birds that we did see over in that wasteland with the the very very like ragged bunny and then we do have a wyvern that's kind of like just you know a little bloated with the horns that looks kind of cool and then we have our very what I call standard wyvern over here. I mean, they're dragons nonetheless, but this is the cool part though. The dragon recognizes you, you hop on and then boom, man, like the dust and everything on the bottom. That is so cool. And if you look at some of the ships here, little, like little house off in the distance on an island, that's pretty cool. Different sails for each one, different sails. And looking at the dragons here, there's a pink one off in the distance. So I'm wondering if you get to pick color your dragon's gonna be once you pick it but we don't see the bow when they're on the mount they're just kind of sitting on the mount so the weapon kind of disappears from your back i guess the same way your jetpack would disappear if you were getting into your ship in no man's sky let's look a little bit look a little further let's look at this spot here that looks like a flag off in the distance i'm wondering if they're heading towards that flag there's something else posted there as well i'm wondering if that's guiding them towards an area i love this dragon though in all black it does have the scales on its shoulders and stuff like that i wonder if it's that one with horns let's try to backtrack just a little bit this one right here oh man it's so dark it's so it's all in black horns shoulders uh look what do you call it shoulder pads <laughs> little shoulder pads it looks like a dark dragon part is very distinctive because we get up to a point where boom we do see a little torch like right here on the mountain and I'm wondering whether or not it's the time of day and you need to see where you're going. So we do know there's a day and night cycle. And when you're flying through, you're definitely going to see that torch. And you're like, oh, I know which way I'm going now towards that island. So let's go towards the island over there. Dragon's flying in. I wonder if that's going to be a mechanic for us to swoop down and then swoop up to kind of go places. Now there's going to be a spot for the dragon to land. I wonder how many dragons we can land there. Plus, you're going to go through like this little lighthouse spot. This is going to kind of tell you, oh, I see a light on the distance. That's where I need to go. And then just kind of walking through, walking through until you're going to meet whoever's in there to give you a quest. Or maybe you're meeting a friend there or something like that. I don't know. Um, maybe there might be little areas like this for you to land on. I kind of doubt that because it looks like it's very isolated and I don't know how you would set that up if you were a player to build something like that. Not saying it's not possible, but I just think it's more for the NPCs than it is for us. All right, this part here, look at the tail. Look at the hands, look at the head. That's definitely a wolf. And there's another human here. Looks like someone else is trailing along with them. A third person, I didn't see that before. So we do know that this is night, as it is raining. And it is pretty hot here. It's getting hot on the meter on top. And I'm wondering if, the, oh, they are carrying a torch. So that, that might be it. The torch may keep you warm somewhat in a very cold area, because this is very rainy, very, like, what a place that a dragon would hang out and kill you at <laughs> and then again there's a staff on the mage walking forward in the green and there's another wolf over here with a bow with a different kind of backpack i love the differences in backpacks 
and then there's a giant off in the distance. Who is this giant? Also, what are these <laughs> kind of coming out of the, the woodwork and stuff like that? Oh, not woodwork, but you know, out of the, I don't know, the ether. Like, it's just eyes, and they're just dark apparitions. So I'm wondering whether or not they're friendly, whether or not they're gonna, like, turn immediately if we answer something wrong with this giant. But we're clearly here to see the giant for something. I'm wondering what, though. The, sa um, the savannah. <laughs> or some kind of desert biome here. We did see a dragon fly by. You can still kind of see it. That is a very, very heavy spike tail. I wonder if that's going to play into how it flies or stuff like that or how it attacks. If it even attacks. But the land mounts look super cool. I would definitely want to ride. Well, we get to see one of the faction's areas. This looks to be a great hall somewhere where they kind of get hailed or revered for their appearance. We see a wolf, a human, a, another rabbit, and what looks like a kind of gopher kind of character. I don't know for sure, but you can see the differences in sword weapons. So we're going to have a lot of variants of weapons from different factions, probably in different biomes, depending on what we can make. I wonder if we're going to make it from, you know, an anvil, from a blacksmith, or something like that. But look, we have a rocky sword here with a very wooden handle, and we have a very sophisticated sword that's made out of iron. Not to mention the shield. The shield definitely pertains to the bunny's faction, and I love that so much. Another, like, difference in an ordinary backpack that kind of looks standard. Uh, I wonder what this is. Is that a torch that you're carrying? It's like this one's carrying a sword and we're kind of in the back. So I'm wondering whether or not we're following this pack of four. They're kind of moving to the left a little bit. And we get to see this ogre over here. The nice shoulder pad, rocky shoulder pad on the left shoulder. And is that a bracer? I think that's a bracer on the other side. Something like that. But I wonder what we need to see that over for and then just moving along here look at the dragon look how golden that is and how black it is i would definitely love a dragon like this and the horns and everything oh this was, i keep calling a dragon and a wyvern like are interchangeably look at that and then here we're at this orb again this one's different from the one we saw earlier the other one looked like it was on its side but this one looks like it's standing and i wonder if this pertains to like end game stuff do we need to go in there to see whatever this light is or what's going on but this scene here, this one is pretty significant because it shows you what's inside it. If you just kind of pause for a moment, it's like, what is it doing? What's going on? But we don't know because it's inside this orb. And then we see a person there. And I kind of wanted to point out that pillar that was in the distance. Oh, no, just a little bit more. You can kind of see it faintly right there. I kind of want like, a good look at it. Right there. What is that pillar there for? Who is it for? And then there's like this big hole it's kind of around this arm here. So how do we get to that? And you can kind of see at the bottom here, this looks like a stepping stone kind of on top of here. We either, I don't know if we either jump or maybe there's a, a what should we call it? A, um, a gust of wind that kind of pushes us up from here, up over onto the thumb. But then what do we do from there? Maybe it's to put this to scale. I think that's why the person is there. It's just for scale. But then we have to go uh, up this entire loop all the way up here and then boom we're on the hand and there's there's the hand does this come down and then we get on the finger and then up I, i'm kind of wondering about this so much but thank you everyone for watching this analysis i can't wait for this to come out i'm so excited this is azarath go beyond Rather.